all right we got the whistler backup camera solar i'll tell you i've been using this for a little bit now and I, and the reason why i'm doing this video is because i like it i tried it out i like it so it's easy to set up uh, the first thing you want to do which i didn't i just parked my truck in the sun but it says to charge it using this charging port back here on the side for six hours and then also inside here is a little small hole that's where if, if it doesn't pair up with your monitor then you can pair it up the next thing i want to share with you is how to adjust the camera angle so when, the, when i first got it it was pointing straight out which is flush and everything there's two screws back here on the bottom and that's how you adjust the tilt to your camera another thing i'd like to point out is that your off and on is back here in the back it's got a little pin in here the one that you use for uh pushing the button on the side to pair it but you can use that little pin right there to turn it on and off so it's on right now it also comes with some cushions if you want to put the cushions between this and your camera to make sure that it doesn't scratch your paint which i'm not going to do because i'm not worried about it it also comes with some some bolts and nuts if you want to mount it to your uh, license plate which is upside down and if you want to do that you unscrew these screws and you flip this bracket over and put the screws back in and that way you can mount it to the bottom of your license plate instead of the top like i've got mine and also i had to had, i had to adjust it down because of my tailgate let's put this thing on here and see what you think about it, it comes with some good instructions it also comes with this little plate right here that if you want to mount it to your dash but I've had the suction cup to my windshield for maybe a month. I've had it now and it has, it has never failed. So it's got a really good suction cup on it. It's highly adjustable. So you just loosen them up and you just move it around however you want it. But finding a good spot for this was the hardest part. But I finally found a good spot and I'll show you where I put mine here in just a second. It also comes with a charging cable. The one thing you will have to do with this, you will, you will have to use the power cord that plugs into your cigarette lighter or your 12 volt accessory lighter or accessory port on your car. Plug that in there and run the wire. I'll show you how I ran mine too. To mount this to your license plate, you want to use the screws that you've already got provided unless you want to mount it to the bottom of your license plate. That's when you move your bracket over and use those bolts that are provided. But I'm going to mount it to the top of my license plate you just want to line up the bracket with a hole and then screw it in on both sides That's, and now you want to adjust your bracket so that it's down below your tailgate or however you want to do it and then you want to adjust your camera angle where it's facing down at the ground instead of straight out like mine was so i've got mine installed down here with this multi-port as soon as you turn your car on it comes on give it a second or two and there you go it's already showing what's behind me it's got my grid lines if i back up too close it'll have a little face pop up one thing people do say is that it lags so let's drive forward for a second So this is where I've got my mount it is over in the corner of my windshield. You can set this screen to come on at different and go off at different seconds. And I've got mine set up for 120 seconds. So as soon as it comes on, it'll go off in two minutes. There's other options here that you can put the grid lines on, take the grid lines off. You can actually install multiple cameras to this by using the options here on the side. All that's covered in the book. I don't have multiple cameras, so I'm not going to go over it. For the grid lines, you just hold the power button for three seconds and the grid lines comes on. Or if you want to turn the grid lines off, same thing. But I've got them set to come on automatically. It's probably one of my best investments that I've ever done. I was going to get a stereo system put in the car, in the truck, that was going to cost me around 800 bucks. 
it's got a backup camera and everything on it now i found this and you can find one too on amazon in the video description down below for like a hundred bucks you can't beat it <laughs> solar it's wireless you don't have to do anything to run the wires all you gotta do is plug in the, the monitor hey y'all thanks for stopping by thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up check out the video description down below y'all have a good one now and you come back here